Hello, we are Team 26, and today we will introduce our automotive vehicle make recognition system. The system plays an important role in traffic monitoring and surveillance in recent years. It is useful in real-world applications. For example, law enforcement agencies can adopt this technology to expedite the time-consuming process of manually recognizing the makes of the vehicles of interest. The team is particularly interested in comparing the features across different manufacturers and determining core design variations across different brands. In addition, this project is also helpful for data mining and data analysis purposes. For example, to observe and examine the trending vehicle features, design languages, and model preferences. The car dataset used for our project was obtained from an open source dataset provided by Stanford University. In the original dataset, it had more than 16,000 colored car images under 196 different classes. They were categorized by car makes and models in different years. For example, the 2008 made BMW 3 Series sedan is categorized under one class. However, the team decides to only categorize cars by makes for the purpose of this project, so all BMW cars are in one class. Perhaps you can see from this figure, initially there was a great imbalance in the original dataset. So the team balanced the dataset by randomly augmenting the data, such as adding rotations and shifts for classes with less data, and randomly drops images from classes that have more data. As a result, all the classes have the same number of images. Data normalization is also performed for better performance. Additionally, each image was cropped to the smallest square that still contains the full car body based on the bounding boxes provided in the dataset, and then resized. The data was then split into 75% train, 12.5% validation, and 12.5% test. Now we have 15,000 of training data and 2,500 of validation and test data, where the 25 classes of data are equally distributed in these data sets. The team used a random forest classifier as the baseline model, with 78% training accuracy and 8% validation accuracy. A test accuracy of 8.6% was achieved after preliminary tuning. We used VGG19's feature extraction layers and built a self-designed convolutional layer and artificial neural network as our classifier. We fine-tuned the weights in both the feature extraction layers and the classifier using training images. We have also tried LXNet and VGG11, but VGG19 had the best performance. Here comes our best model, a model with VGG19 features, followed by a convolutional layer and three fully connected layers. The convolutional layer in our classifier has 128 output channels with kernel size 3x3 and padding of 1, followed by a 2x2 max pooling layer. The hidden neurons for the three fully connected layers are 1152, 256, and 64 respectively. And finally, there are 25 neurons in the output layer, which corresponds to the 25 classes we have. The training curve of 50 epochs is shown on the left. We got almost 100% training accuracy. The validation accuracy was 73.84% at the epoch 33, and the corresponding test accuracy was 64.4%, which outperforms our baseline model that has 8.6% accuracy. The test result can be illustrated by the confusion matrix on the right, where the y-axis is the true label and the x-axis is the model predicted label. It shows that our model does well on most of the 25 classes. However, these data do not tell us how our model mimics what humans would do when they see a car and try to tell the brand. We took a closer look at the model, where the features of the images are extracted and learned. By plotting saliency maps for our input data using guided backpropagation, we can now visualize which parts of the image were considered as more important areas of focus. We found that at the lower level layers, the model was focusing on extracting local and general features, such as straight lines and curves. Later on in the middle layers, it starts to recognize more specific objects, such as wheels, headlights, and front grills. When it reaches the deeper layers, the model learned to put focuses only on the specific sections or objects that helps to classify the input data, such as logos. For some vehicle brands that have salient features, 
Our model was able to capture and recognize their unique features during the training process as well. For example, Infinity's logo was well captured and recognized. Our model learns that there are seven bars in Jeep's front grills. Sometimes our model mixes up Ferrari and Lamborghini, but this makes sense since it learns the sports car's characteristics from both brands. Now you might ask, what about some new unobserved cars? How would our model perform? As a human, you may try to match similar features of cars that you have seen to predict the brand. Our model is giving very reasonable results. It classifies Lincoln to car brands such as Chrysler, Buick, and Ford, which are all American cars as well. When our model first sees a Mini Cooper, it thinks it is a Bentley or a Volkswagen most of the time. Because it learned that, Mini Cooper generally have round headlights, and it captured those round headlights as well from both Bentley and Volkswagen, just as what a human would do. After seeing the quantitative and qualitative results, let's have a quick live demo on how to use our model to predict the car make of the unseen test set images. We will show the model prediction of the car make, the true label of the car make, and the car images for illustration purpose. And here for easy visualization, we're going to test on 20 different images. And here I'm going to run the code. And uh, here are the results. So out of the 20 images, the car has made one, two, three, um, four, and five incorrect uh, predictions where the true label is at the top and the bottom is a predicted label. So the IPS is 15 out of 20, which is not bad. And um, looking at these pictures, if you're not an automotive enthusiast, it is very hard for you to tell the make of the car out of 25 different labels. Some takeaways from our models are, first, the VGG model is very sophisticated. The fact that it is able to predict 60 to 70% of the car labels correctly out of 25 different choices is very impressive. This accuracy can be comparable with average humans who are not automotive enthusiasts. To our surprise, the model learned how to identify car models just like humans would. For example, it learns to take a look at the general design language of the car manufacturers. Design languages such as the front grille, headlights, wheels, overall shape, outline, etc. More importantly, the model learns to focus on defining features such as car logos if they are available in the image. Overall, our model learns the general design language and distinctive design features of each car make and is able to categorize unseen cars into the observed ones based on similar design features.